Let's take our first look at the Season 2 Tier 100 Operator Skins, the Black Cell Variants, Early Images, and Gameplay of a lot of these sectors here for Season 2, and much more. We'll break it all down in today's video. Be sure to drop a like in the video if you're going to enjoy. And shout out to U4GM if you need cheap cop points, rare unlock codes, zombie skin max, and much more. They have a bunch of stuff over there. Use code MAT for an extra 5% off. Links are down below. But first off here, just some quick updates on what we're seeing for the future. Of course, Season 2 releases this Wednesday, February 7th at these times up on screen. The download should be a bit before obviously in the past we were able to download updates like these days in advance for all platforms xbox playstation and pc more recently only playstation players could download updates early uh, but nowadays it seems like all players just have to wait for the game to come out the update to come out to download the update which is good for some players with good internet but for others with bad internet while everyone else is already playing the new update people might be waiting several hours all day potentially to play the new update which does suck for them now if you're not in a rush it's not a big deal but i would rather everyone just have at least a day at least 24 hours to preload the update so when it comes out we're all ready we're all good to go to play right when it goes live so hopefully they make that change for the future we'll see very soon and i know season two still isn't out yet but just to keep you guys in the know about future content updates here season two reloaded is expected to begin on march 6th which is pretty standard about a month or so between each reloaded update and the new season and over time at least with mw2 last year the beginning seasons were a, a bit longer and as we got to the end like season four season five and especially season six last year those seasons got smaller and smaller and the reloaded updates came even sooner but does that result in more content i'm not so sure it depends on the season i thought season six last year a really short season but a pretty good season overall especially with the haunting event and all the stuff we got so it's, it's all relative it depends on what we get there but I would expect to see these reloaded updates come sooner and sooner as time goes on for MW3. But again, I'll be sure to update you guys on that stuff when it gets revealed. But to break down some stuff here for Season 2, of course, in a previous video, I went through a bunch of early looks at the Battle Pass for this update. We have some better looks here, some in-game gameplay images and screenshots of a lot of the sectors, the Operator skins, and of course, the Tier 100 skins, the Black Cell variants, the main Black Cell Operator as well. A lot of cool shots here. So this is, of course, coming from YouTube swag so shout to him but to take some looks here at this battle pass we of course have the main overview which you guys have probably already seen before but it's still really cool love that dark ether vibe with the crystals there in the background for the instant battle pass sector when you buy the battle pass this is what you'll get off the bat no grinding required you're gonna have a laswell operator skin a rick grimes operator skin an emblem weapon blueprint and it looks like a finishing move as well which looks pretty solid here's a look at the rick grimes skin as well of course if you get the black cell variant you'll also unlock the black cell versions of these operators which for the most part are pretty sick for another sector here we have sector b4 we have a alpine Keras operator skin so Keras is actually the new warlord being added to mw3 zombies and they just give him a skin on top of alpine which i i don't really care honestly not a big deal i didn't need Keras to be a separate unique operator i think it's just cool to see this type of skin in the game as it is so cool stuff there and of course in the sector you're also getting some cob points looks like a decal or a sticker a weapon blueprint and some double xp for another sector here, sector B1, we have a DM56 marksman rifle weapon blueprint, a pretty decent camo there. You have some other cosmetics, double XP, a zombies acquisition, and a charm as well. Sector B7, we have one of the new weapons of this season, the BP50. Of course, you don't need to buy the battle pass to get this weapon. You can unlock it for free, which is cool. And in this sector, we also have other cosmetics as well, a charm, sticker, double XP, Good stuff there. Next one here, B13. We have a uh, operator finishing move, play dead, which looks interesting. More double XP, uh, other cosmetics, a zombies acquisition as well. And that's that there. For sector B14, we have an old faith sniper rifle, XRK stalker weapon blueprint with a decent camo, some other cosmetics, a weapon blueprint there, a calling card, and cop points. Sector B6, we have another new weapon again, the Ram 9 SMG, other cosmetics, double XP stickers. That's good. Next one here. Here, sector b12 a full stop lmg blueprint for the tack eradicator cool yellow and black scheme honestly other cosmetics stickers calling cards cop points all that good stuff sector b18 we have a ram 9 saber tooth smg blueprint other cosmetics as well is zombies acquisition okay next one here uh sector b19 a bp50 blueprint the same type of camo look there other cosmetics zombies acquisition and that's that there now for the completionist sector here we have this warden operator skin 
which I think is really, really cool. Finally getting a new Warden skin is good overall, but for it to be, in my opinion, a decent looking skin, I think it's a W for sure. This one here, of course, the Shade Ghost Operator skin, the base tier 100 Battle Pass skin, I think is fire. This is a part of the main season two marketing and promo images. That blue fire coming out from Ghost, I think is so, so cool. So that's a W there. And then of course we have the Black Cell version as well. If you buy Black Cell, you'll get this version of the Shade Ghost Operator skin, which looks pretty solid. Although, not gonna lie, I might like the normal blue Shade Ghost skin better than the Black Cell variant. I feel like they gotta get rid of this gold and black look eventually i do definitely like the purple fire and effects that they have around these black cell operators that makes it look a bit more interesting so that's a, a selling point for sure but i think over time or maybe even for this season it would have been better if instead of black and gold they just straight up made black cell black and purple imagine the ghost operator skin with all black and purple all over the skin there and purple flames coming out from the skin as well that would have looked so much better than the same black and gold scheme with the purple flames uh, maybe you guys disagree with me on that let me know down below but we'll see if they end up experimenting with different black cell looks in future seasons and of course for the specific black cell sector here we're getting a finishing move cop points two weapon blueprints and this mean john doe operator skin which again black and gold it's okay we've seen it with so many operator skins so many times now but the purple flames coming out from the eyes the arm and the body as well makes it look a little better so is this my favorite black cell upgrade no but i definitely don't think it's the worst the zombie vibe is a w the purple look is a w as well but the black and gold scheme every single time is getting a bit tiresome so again we'll see very soon if they change it up for future seasons but overall that's what we have here for the black cell and battle pass upgrade and the tier 100 operator skins and finally in the store now we did just get the star forge tracer pack bundle for 2400 cop points here we have a pulling out 762 weapon blueprint okay look there we have a bass b blueprint as well pretty much a mastery camo uh but in the store which is kind of interesting i don't know if they should be doing that but that's what they did there we have the tracers here the galactic tracers which will preview they look pretty i mean the tracers are fire i'm not gonna lie and the dismemorate effect as well is pretty cool so yeah solid stuff there we have the loading screen okay weapon sticker emblem calling card and charm so I don't know it's a it's a cool bundle especially this bass b skin is really cool but it's pretty much just like orion like a version of it right or interstellar or whatever i mean it's just like a a mastery camo but you could just buy it instead of grind for it which I, I mean is that cheesy probably should they be doing that no but at least if you're spending your money you're getting a decent skin i don't know let me know down below your opinions on that but that's it here for this video be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this let me know down below your opinions on season two as an update for multiplayer content warzone now uh, zombies of course do we really have opinions there's no launch content for zombies for the reloaded updates we're getting some stuff but even the stuff we're getting for Reloaded is kind of lackluster. A uh, Warlord, some other schematics, uh, you know, a new Dark Aether Rift is cool, but Fortune's Keep not being added to zombies is so insane to me. It really, really is unfortunate. But multiplayer, a lot of cool maps, honestly. I, I think Sledgehammer has done a great job with MW3's MP. Warzone has also been pretty good, but uh, MP is really the shining spot for me right now, especially with Sledgehammer's uh, control so far. But we'll see what happens in the future. Let me know down below again your expectations. Are you hyped? Are you not hyped? Let me know. Shout out to future channel members. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.